know this is like 10 years ago, but this is so cool. <laughs> Is it better to upload to one stock agency as an exclusive photographer or through as many as you possibly can? <laughs> There's a big gray area here in the middle and that's what we're gonna explore today. But before we start, I really wanna thank everybody that commented in last week's video. Mind blown, I mean literally, uh, it changed my perspective on these YouTube videos. It's a small channel, I've been doing this for a few years and I just thought, you know, I'm helping a few people here and there. But when everybody commented, the different places that you're viewing this channel from. Literally, mind blown. <laughs> Look at the map. <laughs> this is insane. And then when I compare both of my channels, English and Spanish, I, I'm out of words. I really need to step it up a notch because this is getting out of hand. <laughs> now in an effort to step it up a notch, I'm gonna show a magic trick I learned from Instagram. I'll show myself out. Now, my experience as a stock photographer has always been as non-exclusive. So if there's any anybody here watching this video that has experience being exclusive, please let me know in the comments. If you have a YouTube video, put the link there. I'll pin it to the top just so that everybody else can get uh, first-hand experience. Now, uh, I say there's a gray area, and that's because there's multiple levels to this. When you're non-exclusive, some agencies give you the ability to do exclusive photographs. Not an exclusive photographer, but exclusive photograph. And I've done that in the past. I've worked with Dreamstime, I've worked with Alame, and I get them similar images. Now, not the same images that I have on other websites, similar photos. Uh, so let's say I go out and do a, a photo shoot and I end up with 100 images. I can break that down as, as 50 to all the ones that don't require me being exclusive, 25 exclusive images to Dreamstime and 25 exclusive images to Alamy. The benefits is when they sell in Dreamstime or Alamy, I get a higher commission. The other benefit is I get less rejected photos because I'm uploading less photos. <laughs> the downside of that is organizing extra folders, uh, you know, which ones are exclusive here, which ones are there, and then keep everything organized takes a little bit more time and more effort. But I think the upsides outweigh the downsides. So that's one way of doing it. Where's my food color? Now I also see the reason why so many people want to be exclusive it's got many benefits. You're only working with one agency, which is gonna save you a lot of time. Then, at the end of the year, you only have one tax document to prepare. It saves money and time. <laughs> and then, your commissions are much higher. When you're exclusive, some agencies, instead of giving you 15%, they give you 40%. So there's lots of ups upsides to being exclusive to one stock photo agency, instead of working with all the other ones. Now, there's also agencies like, for example, Stocksy. They require exclusive photo shoots. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time somebody says exclusive to me, just, I don't know, it's a little weird. But that's another option. Uh, you can earn a little bit more per sale or quite a bit more per sale if you do exclusive photo shoots. But those photo shoots have to be of a much higher standard. Uh, but it's just another option that we all have as top photographers. Have you guys ever tried shooting with fresh strawberries? <laughs> they are the worst. Uh, this one is the best looking one out of all, and if I'm gonna do stock photos, I want it to look good. But this one has spots that just don't look that great, so I need to focus on this side, I think. Yeah, that's the best side of this berry. Let's see, I might have to bring the, the strawberry down, or the whole thing down here, maybe that's better. Hose cannot be in the water. All right, let's see if this works. So now, why do I choose to work with all the agencies that I work with? That's allowed. 
All right, my first reason is this is how I started. <laughs> I got used to uploading to all of the agencies and I noticed that my best sellers on some websites don't sell at all on the other agencies. And some sell here and there, but for the most part, they're different sales in different agencies. Some of them I use just because they're very easy to upload and I've noticed trends. Sometimes this one sells a lot, for the next year or two they don't, then this one sells a lot. So I notice how this, the ebbs and flows of all these different agencies, which is why I like using all of them and maximizing my potential. Of course, there's three that do the best right now at this moment, which is Getty, uh, Adobe Stock, and Shutterstock. Again, that could change. The downside of uploading to all these agencies is time consuming, very time consuming, which is why I'm using a uh, I'm Stalker Studio. This is not sponsored. Studio costs about 30 bucks a year and it manages all of your agencies. Now, if you could also pay for I'm Stalker Vision and that can help you with keywords and all this other stuff. Again, this is not sponsored, but there is a referral link down below, which if you purchase it, I get a small commission. I've been able to upload a thousand images this month because I'm using these tools. And to manage eight or nine agencies that I'm working with, this, I found that helpful. Now, the other downside of this is tax preparation. Here in the US, I get a 1099 for each agency that I work with. That, when I give it to my accountant, each one of these is an extra fee. <laughs> so if I'm not making enough on these agencies to cover the accountant fee, then I'm working, I'm actually paying to work for these agencies. <laughs> and then the other thing is, you know, now your pay is a little bit less. But here is where the conspiracy part of me kicks in. Now, hear me out. This, I know this is just a conspiracy. There's something that came to my mind. If you were a greedy agency, and I say greedy because they give us 10 cents a photo. They are greedy, Let, let's not make things up. If you were a greedy agency, and you know that you have exclusive images that pay a little bit more, or you have non-exclusive images where you pocket more of that cash, who would you promote? <laughs> I like that I see different sales in different agencies. To me, that's a little bit motivating because, I don't know, if I was only with one, I, I again, I don't know. I've never been exclusive, so let me know. If you are exclusive, I'm sure a lot of us would like to know what's what the benefits are. So as you can see, there's many reasons why somebody might want to be exclusive or not be exclusive. And then there's also the, the other options that I mentioned earlier. Now, this is based on your lifestyle, how much work you want to do, whether you, you have the time and you want to worry about managing all these agencies, or if you want to invest in a software to help you manage these agencies. This is personal choice. Like I said, my experience has always been uploading and putting out as many eggs in as many baskets as I can. <laughs> is that how that saying goes? Anyway, you get my point. I like to maximize my potential by putting myself out there. More chances of being found, in my opinion. And the conspiracy part of me wants to think that my images are gonna be promoted if they're not exclusive. In my opinion, non-exclusive is the way to go. How many agencies you wanna work with, that's up to you, and how much time you wanna to dedicate to this. Now, I'm gonna try something else because I have an idea. Now I need to cut this strawberry. Oh man, I think it's too soft. It's definitely gonna require some Photoshop. So literally, this is why I shoot stock photography. This is a technique I saw online and I wanted to try it out myself. So I went to the store and I bought a can of evaporated milk and some food coloring. The rest I found on Amazon, the syringe and the hose and I'm using a square flower vase, vase <laughs> instead of a fish tank because every time you take photos, you gotta dump the water out, wash it and start all over again. And it seemed very wasteful, not only time, but water and everything else if I use something bigger. I'm practicing the strawberries are gonna add to my strawberry collection that I started a couple of years ago. And to be able to practice and learn a few different things here and there using stock 
Now I get to process some of these agents, uh, some of these photos and upload into all of the agencies that I work with. If you have exclusivity, if you have any experience with being exclusive, please let us know in the comments. We're all very interested in learning a little bit more and maybe make a decision uh, one way or another. Again, guys, thank you very much for commenting in last week's video. Literally, mind blown. I cannot believe the reach that this channel has. If you found anything of value or if you were entertained, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.